You know the frustration of being undervalued and overlooked? Putting in effort but feeling like a shadow in your own skin. You could beg for people to care, but nobody will bother to recognize you. It's a common story, but it doesn't have to be yours. Imagine entering a room and feeling the atmosphere shift, commanding respect and having your contributions immediately acknowledged. Your opinions are sought after and your attention is asked for. This is not wishful thinking. This is the result of mastering ancient arts steeped in stoic wisdom. Today you're about to learn seven powerful psychological strategies that have stood the test of time. They will not only earn you the recognition you deserve, but will also bolster your inner fortitude. Keep in mind that they are more than just techniques. They are part of a transformative process, a shift in mindset that begins with how you see yourself and radiates outward. This is not about capturing a fleeting moment of attention. It's about establishing a powerful presence that persists and makes an impact well beyond your initial interaction. Now let's start number one. Learn to be rare. This concept embodies the wisdom of recognizing that scarcity often heightens perceived value. It is not about withdrawing from people or becoming inaccessible, but rather about understanding the power of controlled availability. By engaging in pursuits that stimulate your mind and nurture your soul, you naturally limit your availability. This doesn't imply a distant or aloof demeanor, but rather a purposeful allocation of your time and energy towards endeavors that hold personal significance. This measured approach to your presence commands attention and appreciation. When you are consistently present and readily available, there is a risk of becoming just another fixture in the background, easily overlooked or taken for granted. However, by selectively participating and ensuring that your engagements are meaningful and purposeful, you become a focal point, capturing the attention and respect of those around you. It's important to emphasize that this strategy is not about creating an air of mystery for its own sake, nor is it about being inaccessible to the point of isolation. Instead, it is a deliberate choice to engage in activities and relationships that align with your values and objectives. This allows you to bring a more substantial and impactful presence to each interaction. It reflects a deep understanding of the value of your own time and contributions, and serves as a catalyst for garnering genuine recognition and respect from those you interact with to become your most authentic self. This strategy champions the power of authenticity in being the driving force in your own life. It highlights the importance of wholeheartedly engaging in activities and pursuits that resonate with your true self. By embracing authenticity, you become a genuine source of inspiration and intrigue for those around you. Authenticity empowers you to define your own narrative and shape your unique journey. It's about recognizing that your genuine self and contributions hold immense value, and that by being true to who you are, you become a beacon of inspiration for others. Additionally, embracing authenticity allows for the cultivation of deeper, more meaningful relationships. It fosters an environment of mutual respect and support, where each person involved is encouraged to be their true selves while contributing to each other's journey. In essence, this strategy underscores the transformative power of authenticity in commanding genuine interest and respect. It encourages you to lead with sincerity, inspiring others to do the same. By authentically embracing your passions and values, you naturally draw others towards your unique journey. 3. Learn to step back. Stepping back embodies the essence of self-respect and self-prioritization. It emphasizes the wisdom of recognizing your own boundaries and having the courage to step back from situations, relationships, or endeavors that do not align with your well-being or values. It's important to clarify that this isn't an endorsement of hasty or impulsive decisions. Instead, it encourages you to take a thoughtful approach, assessing whether a particular situation or relationship truly serves your best interests. This practice is a testament to your own strength and conviction in valuing yourself. Knowing when to step back is a powerful declaration of your worth. It's a deliberate choice to not be bound by the need for any single outcome. This strategy helps you reclaim agency over your own life, recognizing that your time, energy, and emotional investment are valuable resources that should be directed towards endeavors that truly align with your values and goals. Additionally, recognizing the power to step back often leads to a shift in dynamics. Others may begin to re-evaluate their actions and priorities, recognizing the value they stand to lose. This is not about manipulating or playing games, 
but about honoring your own well-being and self. Worth for the art of silence. This strategy underscores the profound impact of thoughtful communication, recognizing that sometimes withholding immediate contact or initiating conversation can create space for others to step forward. It's about finding a balance between being approachable and respecting your own time and presence. Silence, in this context, is not about being distant or unapproachable, but rather about understanding the power of intentional pauses. It allows for reflection both for you and for those you engage with. It gives room for deeper understanding and connection to unfold. By practicing the art of silence, you demonstrate a level of self-assuredness and self-possession. It shows that you are not driven by a need for constant conversation or interaction, but that you value meaningful and purposeful communication. This strategy encourages the cultivation of more intentional conversations. It prompts you to consider the timing and content of your communication, ensuring that it carries weight and significance. This can lead to more meaningful connections and interactions. By embracing silence as a tool for deeper understanding, you foster more authentic and genuine interactions with those around you. 5. Command your space. Commanding your space involves a certain level of assertiveness. It means speaking up when you have something valuable to offer and not shying away from taking the lead when necessary. This assertiveness is not fueled by ego, but by a genuine belief in the value you bring to the table. It is rooted in the fundamental understanding that you are the steward of your own value and worth. By doing so, you set the stage for others to recognize and appreciate you for what you bring to the table. Ultimately, commanding your space is a practice in self-advocacy and self-respect. It's about recognizing that you are a valuable asset and that your presence has the power to influence and inspire those around you. This strategy empowers you to step into any room with confidence, knowing that your contributions are not only valid, but highly valued. It's about choosing environments and relationships that align with your values and aspirations. This doesn't imply an air of arrogance, but rather a healthy sense of self-respect. It means being discerning about where you invest your time and energy, opting for spaces where your efforts are not only acknowledged but celebrated. Number 6. Create Your Own Happiness This strategy centers around the profound concept of self-sufficiency. It begins with the understanding that true contentment is an internal state of being, rather than something that can be solely derived from external circumstances or validation from others. By embracing this concept, you embark on a journey of self-discovery and self-appreciation. You learn to identify the aspects of your life that bring you genuine joy, whether they be small daily victories, personal achievements, or moments of quiet reflection. This process fosters a sense of inner fulfillment that is not contingent on external factors. It encourages you to take pleasure in the simple yet meaningful aspects of your routine. These may include accomplishments at work, personal milestones, or even the serene moments of contemplation in your daily life. By finding joy in these elements, you cultivate a profound sense of self-worth and contentment. However, creating your own happiness does not advocate for isolation or detachment from the world. Instead, it encourages you to derive satisfaction from the stable, enduring elements of life that you have control over. This might involve appreciating the beauty in nature, relishing in personal achievements, or finding contentment in your own company. Practicing this art instills a powerful sense of self-reliance and resilience. It allows you to navigate through life with a steady inner compass unaffected by external fluctuations or opinions. This self-sufficiency becomes a beacon that draws others towards your positive and self-assured presence. Recognize that happiness is a deeply personal and internal endeavor. By forging your own path to contentment, you will radiate a magnetic energy that resonates with those around you 7 embrace continuous growth and learning this aspect emphasizes the importance of ongoing self-improvement and learning it encourages you to view life as a journey of growth where every experience success or setback is an opportunity to learn and evolve embracing continuous growth means actively seeking out new knowledge skills and experiences it could involve reading widely pursuing further education or taking on new challenges in your personal and professional life. This approach not only enriches your own understanding of the world, but also enhances your ability to contribute meaningfully to conversations and endeavors. 
It demonstrates a commitment to personal development and a genuine interest in broadening your horizons. By embodying a growth mindset, you inspire others to do the same. Your dedication to self-improvement becomes a source of inspiration, encouraging those around you to also strive for continuous learning and development. It reflects a commitment to personal excellence and a recognition that there is always room for improvement. This concludes the seven concepts you should use to elevate your value and confidence. Remember, these strategies are not about manipulation, but reflections of strength. You are the architect of your worth, and by embracing these steps you present yourself as a person of substance who respects themselves enough to not settle for less. Balancing kindness with self-respect, availability with self-importance, and investment with self-preservation is the hallmark of a good life. So as you embark on this path, do so with mindfulness and integrity.